Find the area of the figure below where a square and an equilateral triangle touch at one side. And we're given the length of this side of the square, which is 4 inches. Remember that all of the sides of a square have the same length. Therefore, all of these sides must also be 4 inches. Also, in an equilateral triangle, all of the sides also have the same length. Thus, because this side is 4 inches, all of these other sides must also be 4 inches. Now, we can find the area of the square by multiplying 4 inches by 4 inches to get 16 square inches. Next, we're going to find the area of the triangle where we need the length of the base, which is 4 inches in this case, and we need the length of the height, but we don't have that right now. So, we're going to find it by first drawing this line right here, which bisects the triangle into two congruent right triangles. Thus, this angle right here must be 90 degrees, and this side length must be 2 inches. In addition, this side length must also be 2 inches. 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So, we're going to have 2 squared, where 2 is the length of this side. Then, we're going to add h squared, where h is the height. Lastly, we're going to set this expression equal to 4 squared, where 4 is the length of the hypotenuse. 2 squared is 4, and 4 squared is 16. Now, we're going to solve for h by first subtracting 4 on both sides of the equation. And, we get h squared equals 12. Then, we're going to take the square root of both sides. We don't need the plus minus next to the square root of 12 since the height is positive. Therefore, the height has a length of the square root of 12 inches. Finally, we can find the area of the triangle by multiplying 1 half by 4 inches, where 4 inches is the length of the base, and then we're going to multiply by the square root of 12 inches, where the square root of 12 inches is the height. 1 half times 4 is just 2, so the area of the triangle must be 2 times the square root of 12 square inches. We can simplify this to 4 times the square root of 3 square inches. And the final step is to just add the area of the square and the area of the triangle. So, we're going to have 16 square inches plus 4 times the square root of 3 square inches. Which is just 16 plus 4 times the square root of 3 square inches, which must be the area of the figure.